Hello, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with a little of this, that, and the other. And, uh, well, I have some finished objects that I wanted to show you that I've been working on. With everything that's going on right now, I have a lot of time at home <laughs> right now. <laughs> and I'm trying to make the most of my time and keep busy and keep productive. And this, this is actually part of what I've been busy with. This is a variation of a pie shawl. Um, this, this I absolutely love. Now, this is not something that I'm used to making. I, I did do a crocheted version of this once before, and then I thought, you know what, let's do a knitted version. Now, because it's a circle, the top folds down and it can be a collar or what have you, and you get all this drapey flowiness. You're like a little butterfly flitting around, and I love this. And this actually is a variation of the Elizabeth Zimmerman pie shawl that is knitted with a twist. Now I'm going to turn around so you can see the full effect. You guys like it? Now, I actually did in part design this particular shawl. Um, and I also incorporated a bit of a crochet little bit in there as well to make it easier to actually construct it. And I would eventually like to do a tutorial on how to do this. It's actually a lot easier, I find, with the crochet incorporated in. Um, and because originally it was called a, a pie shawl, and because it's a hybrid using crocheting as well as knitting, I think I'm going to call it a piebrid shawl. <laughs> I know, I love wordplay and I'm a little bit hokey, but you know, this I had a lot of fun doing. This is actually the second one that I created, and I want to show you the first one that I created. It's a little bit different. Okay, so this is the first one that I actually experimented with, and again, it's lovely, it's lacy. Now, the difference with this one is that I used the organic lace technique in order to create the lace bits for this shawl. Also, I did a slightly different edging. Um, now, I did do a ribbed edging for this piece as well as for the other piece, but I used the stretchy bind off for the first one that I showed you, which actually I thought worked out better, but I love it anyway. So you get to see the full, the full wingage going on as well. Absolutely had so much fun doing this project. I really did. And actually, it worked up remarkably fast at first. The more you go, the longer it takes to knit all the way around, but it is a lot of fun. And I would love to do a tutorial on this at some point, not doing the entire thing on film, of course, because there are only so many hours in a day, but the pie bridge shawl. So this is one of, one of the things that I wanted to show you. And I've got two more actually. All right, next up, I have what I have called the Tiny Leaves Stitch scarf that I made up. Now this, I've seen variations of this particular kind of stitching before, but nothing exactly like this specifically. And this is a stitch that I created due to the fact that I've been literally inside for about two weeks now. <laughs> I'm going a little stir crazy, but yes, I created this. Now, by the way, the uh, pie bridge shawls, I created that with, it was Lion Brands, I want to say Mondawa Tweed Stripes, if I'm not mistaken. And then this one was with Hirschner's Pastry Puff Yarn, and I had a lot of fun. I used about two skeins of the Pastry Puff 
for this particular scarf and the length worked out nicely. And what I really do like actually about this stitch that I worked on is that the, the edge also has the little leaves on either side. So it's, it creates its own border as you stitch it. And actually, oh, oh, heads up, this particular stitch is the tutorial for this weekend. So I hope you guys watch it. I hope you, I hope even more that you guys like it. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's for tomorrow. Yes, it is. And I've got one more project that I want to show you. And then I've got some happy mail. Believe it or not, I actually have some happy mail. I am uber excited indeed. Mm -hmm. All right, so last but not least, certainly not least, this is a shawl that I made up using lacy hexagonal motifs that I then did the join as you go method. And I love how this came out. So there's no sewing at all in the entire project. And yes, of course, I will do the turn. Gotta do the turn. And so it has a very flowy, drapey, lacy, and interesting sort of diamond pattern work going on. Very, very easy to do. It's only, I think, I want to say it is a maybe a five round repeat and I even did a little bit of edging around the whole thing to sort of unify it a little bit more with sort of a lattice stitch and this actually uh, I used I believe it was Red Heart Super Saver one of those gigundo skeins that they have and I managed to do the entire thing with just one of those gigundo skeins, you know, like the, the mega big skeinage. And I had a lot of fun with this. Actually, I did this pretty quickly. I want to say in maybe a few days, actually. The pie bridge shawls, yeah, those took longer. <laughs> uh, the tiny leaves uh, scarf that I had done, that, it took me about a day. This, maybe a day or two. But uh, yeah, the pie bridge, that's going to take a little bit longer because it is knitting, but absolutely fabulous. And so that is just a taste of what I've been working on. Now, on top of this, I also have been working on designing yet another, yes, another cardigan. Um, but I'm not about to, I'm not, I'm not about to put that on right now because it only has one sleeve at the moment and I don't feel like embarrassing myself. Not that much, but the majority of it is done, and I did actually do that in about two days. Being essentially trapped in the house, um, it'll do things to you. It'll do things to your brain. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's open some happy mail, shall we? Because we could all use a little happiness. Alrighty, so I did get a notification that actually I had a package at the post office. So I went outside for the first time in the better part of a week. Yeah, I was careful. I was. Um, and I, 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 I got some mail. Very exciting. And first thing I noticed was I got a letter from Dale in Washington. Not going to read it on camera, but Thank you very much, Dale. I appreciate it. That's very sweet of you, all the things you wrote. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I have two packages, which I'm very excited. Oh my dear gosh. Well, let's start with the little one first, and then we'll go on to the big one. Um, I, I have no idea who this is from. Uh, it says Media Mail from California, so let's find out. I mean, it is addressed to me, but uh, I don't know. We'll find out. All right, so I got my handy dandy skizzers, and uh, yeah, so there's no, um, there's nothing on here saying who it's from. Maybe there is inside, I don't know. 
and I really appreciate anything and everything that you guys send me. You guys are the best. You're so sweet and considerate, really. And I must ask, you know, are you guys doing all right, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm doing all right, you know? I have enough food, and I've been playing it safe. I haven't been going outside. You know, I'm, I'm okay. A little stir-crazy, but, you know... I'm not really normally in the habit of going out much anyway, so it's okay, you know. I'm 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 managing. All right, I'm I'm having issues with the tape here. Bear with me, folks. Damn it! There we go. What do we got here? What is it? It's a book. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, and there's a note in here. Let's let's take a gander. Oh, okay. All right, so apparently, um, okay, so dear fiber spider. Sorry for the delay. I'm, I'm trying to take all this in. Um, it says, I thought you might like this book. So I got Sandy to sign one for you. And apparently Sandy Stark McGinnis is the author of this book. Uh, it's called Extraordinary Birds. Wow. A praise for extraordinary birds. And it's poignant, an extraordinary debut. You'll root for this bird-loving Bird-loving girl to soar. Oh, well, let's see. Um, you can show it, read bits, do anything you want with it. Bloomsbury might even give you permission to do a YouTube reading if you ever wanted to. Ooh, interesting. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, yeah, interesting. I, I, I Apparently, I'm not supposed to read the rest of this on camera, but thank you very, very much. And so, oh, so this is from Molly McGinnis. Molly, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I would like to get more information about this. I appreciate that very much because you know I love books. You know, if you've been watching me for any length of time, I love books. Very, very much so. Actually, right now, I'm in the process of rereading uh, the Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. Really good. Really, really, really good. Very atmospheric. I mean, it's not ooh, horrific, you know. It's, it is not like the Netflix show, okay? I'm not going to give any spoilers. Don't worry. Don't fret. No spoilers. I would not do that to you guys. Um, but if any of you are familiar, the book was written, okay, The Haunting of Hill House. Then... I believe it was in the 60s, 50s, 60s, somewhere around there, they made a movie called The Haunting. Black and white, awesome movie. I love the oldies but the goodies. I think I was born in the wrong decade. And in the original movie, yes, it was very atmospheric. It wasn't what you saw. It was what you heard and is what, what was alluded to that made it scary, okay? Good stuff. Then, in the 90s, I believe it was, they did a remake with Catherine Zeta-Jones and Lily Taylor, and eh, for the time that it came out, it was good, but it was much more about the special effects, which to me, especially by today's standards, fell flat on its mm. So, that being said, then Netflix decided, yeah, let's make a TV series based on, on, on the book. Mixed feelings. On the one hand, it was great in some respects. The special, the special effects were very, very well done. The pacing of it worked nicely. The storyline, the acting, the backstory, the character development. Yeah, all that was great. And you need that, especially if it is a series. Now, here's the thing. The names of the characters were the same. The name of the house was the same. However, everything else in relation to 
the characters in relation to each other and how the house is in relation to them, completely different. So if you're thinking that the Netflix show is a direct reflection of the book, guess again. <laughs> but in its own right, it was very good, and I would recommend it. I would recommend the book, the original movie, and the Netflix show, but keep in mind that the Netflix show, it's in its own stratosphere. But it's a good stratosphere, so take it with a grain of salt. I always do. So again, Molly, thank you very much for the book. I'm very interested in taking a look at it very, very, very much. And um, yeah, very, very much. I honestly, I, I don't know much about this book because apparently it is, I think, a debut. And so I haven't heard of it before. Oh, there's even a bookmark. Oh, in flight is where you'll find me. Oh, that's nice. And then I think they said that it was signed. No, maybe on the inside. The Two Fiber Spider by Sandy Stark McGinnis. That, that's, that's cool. I've, you know what? This is my first book that I had signed to me as Fiber Spider. <laughs> this is a delight. Thank you. I am a total bibliophile, a lover of books and literature of all sorts. So... I think this might be on my, my next to-do list item. Mm, thank you so much. All right, so I got one box left, and it's a biggie. Th this might take a while. It's a biggie. All right, so now for the Pace de Resistance. Yes, check out this box. I got a backup for this. This is a hernia in cardboard. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. This is from Judy in Florida. Thank you. <laughs> this is 19 pounds. Judy. Judy. Wow. You, you, you made my day. Because I have a feeling this is yarn. Because... This is a massive box. My God. Oh! <sighs> All right, let, let's see what's in this, in this guy. Oh my God. When I saw this, you know, and I, I did call the post office to make sure, and they're like, yeah, it's huge. Please, come, get it. You know, and, uh, oh my you know, when you sent me a message saying that you sent me a box, I didn't know you could fit a mid, you know, a, a, that you could fit, you know, a small person in here. You know, I mean, geez. Okay. Well, I hope there's not a small person in here because that would just be creepy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been cooped up. I'm, I, and, well, not only have I been cooped up, but my sleep cycle has been completely rearranged because I haven't been to work in, you know, like about two weeks, roughly speaking. And so I kept staying up later and later. Now, keep in mind, I'm a night owl already. So I'd be staying up until, you know, ordinarily, I'd be staying up until six. Then six became eight. Then six became, you know, ten. It, it just kept going and going and going. And so I just kept staying up later and later and later. So it got to the point where I was staying up until like noon. And then waking up, you know, going to sleep and then waking up at like seven at night. Waking up at seven at night. So I'm trying to break the cycle. And so I've been up since last night at about 7 p.m., and it is now 3.40 p.m., so bear with me. <laughs> oh, I got, I got a little card from Judy. Let, let's take a look. Because, oh my God, this box is going to kill me. 
But first, I gotta open the card. Gotta do justice to the card. Ow! Oh, it's, it's Wonder Sheep. Super Sheep. He's at the apex. <laughs> it says, you rock. E-W-E -E, rock. Uh, you rock. <laughs> Fiber Spider, keep those great videos coming. Enjoy the yarn. Judy, thank you. I will. Oh, my lanta. Oh, where to begin? Oh my, yeah, there's a lot crammed in here. My goodness gracious me. All right, first things first. Okay, I see that we have some Ferris wheel and you guys know I love this stuff. Pretty much the majority of what I have used from Lion Brand, I really like, and I do like Ferris wheel. This is in the colorway of Vintage Carousel. It's oh so pretty, it really is. And, you know, quick rundown, because I, I want to kind of like, I, I want to emulate Rose Likes Crochet for just a moment here. Um, it is three ounces, it's 270 yards, it is 100% acrylic, medium weight of four. I mean, I've, I've reviewed this yarn before, but for those of you that don't know, so this is Ferris wheel, and there are four of these bad boys all in the same colorway. Oh my. Okay, so then we have ourselves some ice yarn. Now, I have used some ice yarn before. This is cotton bamboo. Ooh. It comes in a nice little zippered pouch. I feel spoiled. See these, look at these little skeins. They're like little mini skeins. They're like munchkins from Dunkin' Donuts. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> this is so cute. So the little itty bitty little, little skeins. And so this is cotton bamboo. It is 50% bamboo, 50% cotton. It is 140 meters and a weight of, uh, it's a weight of two, so it's a fine yarn. Very pretty and very, very soft. I like that the I like the mix of the bamboo because typically I find that cotton is a little too coarse for me. That's just my experience. So that's really nice. And there are two, four, six, eight of those. Eight is great. So I got those. What else we got in here? My goodness. All right, now I see one skein of this. This is Wool Ease DK Cake by Lion Brand. And this is three and a half ounces or 393 yards, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. It's a light weight of three. And the colorway is Strawberry Shortcake. Adorable. Love it. Oh, and then let's see, we've got Yarn Inspirations, Karen Simply Soft Ombre. Ooh, I love the ombres. It looks, it doesn't quite look like an ombre, you know, not like a slow blend, but more of a well-organized stripe, if you will. Now this is Stormy Weather Ombre, medium weight of four. And it is five ounces approximately 235 yards, and acrylic. Very pretty. Gray, gray goes with everything. Black goes with everything. White goes with essentially everything. So it goes with everything. I mean, look at my, look at my outfit for crying out loud. All right, what else we got inside? Let's find out. All right, so more goodies we got. A big old skein of, let's see. Okay, I cannot pronounce this. It looks like Schnell Strickgarn. Schnell Strick 
garn. That that's what it looks like. I mean, I I kind of know German-ish, but I don't sprechen Sie Deutsch. No, or nein. Um, now this is yeah. This this is a a German. German manufacturer, uh, I can tell that it's 100% polyacryl. So I'm assuming that's polyester acrylic or acrylic. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm trying to trying to decipher this. I really am. And the colorway appears to be Farby, Multi, Natur, or... Party. I, I don't know. I like it because it's a nice twill um, and it's acrylic. Let me, we got to do the softness test though. Oh yeah. It, it's, it's got the softness. I like it. I can't pronounce it, but I like it. Thank you. <laughs> Woo, okay. What's next? Oh, oh, we got three of these bad boys. Whoa. Okay, now these are also, ah, Pastry Plus. Ah, because these seemed bigger than the typical Pastry Puffs. These are big. Yes, they are. Now, ooh, the color name is Allspice. Perfect name, perfect colorway, because you got all these, like, autumn, earthy tones. This, this is going to make me something nice. Yes, because I love these colors. Check these colors out. Mm. Now, it's a lightweight of three, 100% acrylic, and it is two, no, hang on. Wow, 743 yards per skein. That's a lot of yarnage. That is a lot of yarn. Wow. Because I could probably make a shawl with just like one of these. That's awesome. Thank you. Because I've worked with the usual pastry puff skeins before, which are a lot smaller. They're good. Don't get me wrong. But it took two of those to make that scarf from before. This is like a windfall. My gosh. Woo. And it just keeps going. It's like a bottomless pit in here. My gosh. All right. And then we have... Ooh, some more, let's see, this was, yeah, this was a Woolies DK cake. This was the Strawberry Shortcake. We also have Bedazzled. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. So pretty. And so this is a weight of three, 393 yards, 80% acrylic, 20% wool, Bedazzled. And then I got this one here, and this one is Lakeside. So pretty. Oh, you're spoiling me. Spoil me more. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This, I, this, ex this exceeded anything I could hope for. Thank you so much. Now this, interesting. This is called All Things You Yarn Premium Acrylic. Now this is very interesting because this looks so so much. I got to take it out of the bag to show you properly. This looks so much like Charisma. It, it's like the same weight. And this is called Deep Woods. Maybe they changed, like they kept the, the yarn, but they just changed the label. I don't know because this looks and feels almost exactly like uh, it's Charisma by Loops and Threads. That's, that's the, I believe, the Michaels Store brand. Now this is, let me see, so it's Deep Woods. It is 100% acrylic, 109 yards, and it is, do, 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 Acrylic 90, 190, uh, where's, where's the weight? The weight is, weight of five. Yeah, to me, this this looks just like one of those skeins. You know what, I, I'm tempted to see if I can find one of them. I am. Hmm. 
All right, so I did a little bit of digging and I couldn't find the same colorway, but I did find a hank skein. I did find a skein of Charisma loops and threads. Now, ignore the color, but look at the yarn itself between this one on the top and this one on the bottom. Am I delusional? Now, the funny thing is, is that, yes, obviously they're different colorways. Now, they are both a, yeah, they're both a weight of five, a bulky weight of five. And this, this, I think, sort of takes the taco. They are both, if you can read that, they're both 109 yards exactly according to their label. Hmm. Coincidence? I'm not sure. But, I mean, this this is awesome. This is some awesome stuff because I know that this is some awesome stuff because I like knitting hats with this with, I think it's like a size 13 knitting needle, I think. This, this is a lot of fun to work with, so I know that this will be a lot of fun to work with, so thank you for that. But I just, I had to satisfy my curiosity. Don't mind me and my yammering, you know. It's what I do best, right? So there's three of these, so this will keep me occupied, no doubt. Now, what do we got next? Oh, whoa, hang on, hold the phone. All right, so we've got three of these. This, I love the name alone. Coffee Shop by Premier Yarns. <laughs> love this. This is so funky. It's got some really neat tones to it. It's got an interesting twisted texture. I like this. Now, this is a, well, it's, it's by Premier Yarns. Um, it's a lightweight of three. And let me see here. Do, 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 do. Ah, it is 85% acrylic, 15% wool, 284 yards. And I've got three, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I've got three of these. I just wanted to make sure. And just, just the name alone, coffee shop. That's so cute. And I love the sort of marbled color look. That's so cool. Mm. Okay, next, <gasps> next up. Oh. All right, now I've got a single skein of this. This one is called Best Value by Mary Maxim. Haven't worked with anything by Mary Maxim before. Have not. Let me know if they're any good. This, this is very soft. I will say that. Very, very soft. The color weighs the leaf. And let's see, it's a medium weight of four. It's 100% acrylic six ounces and it is approximately 312 meters or 342 yards it's premium acrylic made in india mary maxim thank you and we got more we we most certainly have more oh my now i see let's see a single skein of this next best thing not the next best thing, but next best thing. Now this actually I have not worked with yet. I am interested in working with this. This is another, another Lion Brand yarn. This is so disturbingly soft. It's got like a halo. It has like a, a, a sort of a, a wispy halo to it. I mean, it almost like a mohair, if you will. Now, let's see. This is 90% acrylic, 10% wool, 525 yards, and it is called Total Eclipse. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm going to enjoy working with this. Yes. Actually, it's funny because the Total Eclipse and the 
stormy weather ombre, you know, they, they look like they're, you know, distant cousins, you know. Oh, this is so exciting to me. I'm like a, a kid on Christmas. Now, oh my. Now these look like they could be similar, but they are not. Okay, so this is Scarfy, another Lion Brand yarn. Actually, I've never used this one either. You know, I, I need to get schooled. Seriously. I, I need some schooling. Now this, I love the colors. Now it does change slowly, but surely it does change. And supposedly, from what I understand, you can make a whole scarf with one skein. Yeah, I'm sure you could, but the width and the length, well, let's see. What's the yardage like? It is 312 yards. Well, if you use a big enough hook, you know, I mean, it is a bulky weight of five. Uh, so it's 78% 70, acrylic, 22% wool, and the colorway is taupe slash charcoal. It's really nice. And there's three of these in here. So yeah, I could totally make a scarf with the three of them. That, that's undeniable. Um, this is really, really pretty. And since I've never worked with it before, I'm just, I'm, I'm delighted. Now, if you look at the one that she's wearing, you know, it has this nice, slow, gradual goodness going on there. I'm excited. Okay. Urgh. Now, Yep, there's more. There, this, like I said, this is the endless box of goodness. You outdid yourself. You know this. Okay, so next on the docket we have. Oh, ooh, I've always wanted to try this, but I never did. And this is the best color. Ooh, ooh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tear this out. Oh, oh. this is. Again, another Lion Brand yarn. Um, by the way, I am not sponsored for this video. <laughs> you know, I mean, yes, I have had videos from Lion Brand. They've sponsored me before. This video is not sponsored. This, this box is a complete surprise to me. And it's a delight. Um, so this is Touch of Alpaca. I'm touching the alpaca. <laughs> Yeah, so this is Touch of Alpaca in the colorway of Olive, which is, seriously, this is one of my favorite colors. I mean, anything in the greens, earth tones, you know, mustard, terracotta, earthy, rustic tones. And this, this is very, very soft. Now, how much, when they say a touch, how much is a touch? You know, are we talking like a squinch? Um, let's see here. Okay, well, it is seven ounces. It's 415 yards, which is some good yardage there. It's a medium weight of four. Now, let's see. Ah, okay. So it's 90% acrylic and 10% alpaca. That's, that's, okay. I'm, I'm going to be fair. Now, I know that alpaca is not cheap. Okay, it's it's a luxury fiber, you know, for the most part. I get that. But to put only 10% in, I think that's how you could get away with saying touch of alpaca, you know. But conversely, it is rare, especially because I've seen this before in Michaels. I've never picked it up, but I have seen this before in Michaels. Now, the fact that there was even one hair's worth of uh, not a reflection on this, but just the fact that there was any alpaca in a, you know, a, a big, you know, name store, uh, like, you know, Michael's or Joann's or, you know, uh, 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 Walmart, I was drawing a blank there, to find alpaca in any context in, say, like a Michael's store or Walmart, that's like, eh? so... I, I do give credit because they're trying to make alpaca more accessible. I just wish that the the fiber content, the ratio, the percentage were just upped just just a wee bit. But 
I love it though. I do. So I'm, I'm just, I'm being honest, yet I'm being fair. I like to be fair. You know, I, I want people to be fair with me. So I'm, I'm being fair with the yarn, but I am voicing my opinion. You know, I'm entitled, you know, but I can't wait to work with it. Ooh, I'm excited. Now, let's see what else we got. Oh my goshness. Okay, we have more greens. I love the greens. Okay, so this is Heartland. I don't want to rip this open too much. Oh my dear gosh, this is some softness. This actually reminds me of Red Heart Soft. That's how soft this is. This is, this is soft stuff. Now, this is 100% acrylic, 251 yards. It's five ounces. It's a medium weight of four. And the colorway is King's Canyon. I like. And so this is Heartland. Actually, it'd help if I did that, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh. And yeah, that's, that's cute. I like that. Now, I think there's another one in here. Nope, there's two in here of that same, it's the same brand, but a different color. This one is Sequoia. It's very pretty and it is really, really soft. I will say that. Now, what else we got? Ooh, another, okay, well, we have another Scarfie that, that was in there and another Touch of Alpaca on top of the three, and on top of the, I think there were three. Hang on, hold the phone. Yeah, so I've got a total of four Scarfies, and I've got a total of four Touch of Alpacas. I gotta get stitching, my gosh. And there's more. Yes, believe it or not, Ripley's, believe it or not. Oh, it's more Heartland, okay. Now, I know it's soft. We, we went over the specs, um, so I'm not going to open these up. This is Grand Canyon. It's a lovely sort of, it's, it's not a tweed. You know, I mean, there is sort of a blend going on in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not, it's not entirely solid, but it is very pretty. So it's sort of like sandstone, if you will. And then this one, ooh, I love this orangey kind of color going on. Now, what's this one called? Yosemite. I love the names. It's like national parks. I, that would make sense, right? You know, the heartland of America makes sense. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to working with this. And there's more. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. All right, this is... All right, I'm looking for the label. Oh, it looks like mandala. I love mandala. Ooh, I have never even heard of this one before. This is mandala roving. The only roving I've worked with is wool roving for when I'm doing my spinning. And you know what? To be honest, I haven't done any spinning since just before I... I had that really bad cold for like two weeks. Um, I need to get back on that. But yeah, this is gorgeous. This one's called Sandstone. I love the colors. Now, let's see. Okay, irony. Typically, roving, when it, when you know you refer to roving, it's wool roving. This is 100% acrylic, but this is some pretty stuff. And it is very, very, very soft. And it's a lightweight of three. It's 415 yards, 100% acrylic, and it's 5.3 ounces. I like. And I got two of these bad boys. And there's one more, one more cluster of yarn in the box. And then I'm going to drop. I mean, I'm, I'm going to pass out. <laughs> Okay, so last but certainly not least, there's a pack of three more skeins in here. They're all together. For my sake, thank goodness. <laughs> and this is 
mandala wool blend, which I think we had some more of that before. We had wool ease DK cake. This is wool blend. Also line brand. And ooh, look at the transition of colors on there. How gorgeous is that? That's very, very pretty. So Mandawa Wool Blend, it is 5.3 ounces, 590 yards, 80% 80, 80 acrylic, 20% wool. It's a weight of three. Gorgeous. And these colors, yes, just, just, yes. <laughs> these are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, wowie, wow, wow, wow. You know what? Totally worth going outside today for this. Whoa, I, that, what a treat. My gosh. Whew. Judy, you outdid yourself. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I really, really, really do. Very, very much. And also to... Molly, I, I'm pretty sure it was Molly. I just want to be short. Yes, to Molly, thank you so much for the book. And thank you for getting it signed for me, too. And also, last but not least, Dale, thank you for the letter. And Mary Jo, I've been getting your letters. Thank you. You're such a sweetheart. I really appreciate it. And to all of you that have been leaving the most wonderful comments of support and warmth and kindness and everything, you know, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you. And I want all of you to do the same thing right now because, yes, here I am opening up a box of yarn and having a dandy old time. Well, yeah, stuff is going on out there. There are problems going on out there. And yes, I'm not, well, I'm not trying to kill, be a killjoy. I'm not trying to be a downer. No. But, you know, yeah, it's, unfortunately, it's an aspect of life that we're all dealing with right now. And so far, so good. Yeah. Um, as, as far as me here, you know, as, as far as I'm going right now, yeah, I'm all right. You know, uh, as you could see, based on the projects I showed earlier, you know, oh yeah, I'm keeping busy. You know, I may, I may be home, but I'm making use of the time. Oh yes. And also on my, my other channel, Fiber Spider Games, yeah, I'm still posting daily. Actually, the most recent game that I just finished, it's called Untitled The Goose Game. <laughs> Literally. A um, lot of fun. You're this, you're this little goose going around town causing havoc and, and stealing, you know, people's hats and running around and solving puzzles. It's actually really cute and I would recommend it. Um, actually, you know, I'll put the I'll put the link to that playlist in the description box down below. I only hit one snafu, really, with that game. And it's because apparently in one of the episodes that I was filming, the music was copyrighted. I didn't know. And as a result, the video got blocked. You know, I, I didn't get penalized, but the video, it got blocked. And so nobody can watch it anymore. Like 30 people managed to watch it and then, but um, you do revisit the area again. It's an adorable game. So yeah, one of the videos from that playlist is actually missing. Eh, what can you do? But it's an adorable game. And I do play others as well, you know, uh, you know, killing zombies and going adventuring and all sorts of fun stuff. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun. So I've been, I've been keeping busy with that too. And, you know, I've been, I've been cooking, you know, I have, I have been eating, yes, and I've been reading and watching Netflix and YouTube and I've, I've been keeping busy, you know, one thing for sure, I am totally keep capable of keeping myself occupied and entertained and being productive, you know, that, that's never a problem for me, um, so it's just like a really long weekend for me right now. It's like a two week long weekend, <laughs> but I'm getting, I'm getting through it. And I hope you guys are too. You know, um, honestly, I feel very lucky because I still have power and I still have running water 
and I, I don't have any technical difficulties. Like in that respect, I feel very lucky, very, very lucky because if I were stuck at home and I didn't have power and I didn't have heat and I didn't have running water, I would be singing a different tune right now, trust me. But I, I feel very grateful. I really do. In spite of everything that's going on, I feel exceedingly grateful that things are not nearly as bad as they could be at the moment. <laughs> I'm trying to keep optimistic. I'm trying to be, you know, a little Pollyanna ray of sunshine here. Um, and I'm doing all right with it. I am. And I hope you guys are too. And I hope that you are following through with social distancing, you know, six feet, you know, preferably even a foot more, um, you know, that you're, you're staying safe, but yet keeping in touch with people, talking to them over the phone, video chatting. I said this before, it's important to keep communicating and relating to people because it's easy to fall out of communicating with people. It is. And so it's good to keep that up and not to isolate yourself. You may have to I isolate yourself in the sense of being safe, but don't isolate yourself socially because that can have negative effects and we don't want that right now. So, you know, stitch them if you got them and we got them. We, we, Oh, I got him. So stitch him if you got him. <laughs> that that's that's gonna be like my new catchphrase. Stitch him if you got him. Um, oh man. So Judy, Molly, and I'm sorry, the name escapes me. Dale and Mary Jo, thank you so much. You guys are really making my day with the things that you send and all of your comments and just everything. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate your support and watching and it really helps and it really makes a difference in my day and I thank you. And I, I want all of you to, to stay safe, stay healthy, stay aware of what's going on, but not, not drive yourself crazy over it either. You know, I mean, I want you to be, I want you to take precautions, but I don't want you to live in a perpetual state of fear and paranoia and anxiety and angst. No, 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 no. Awareness. Go for awareness. You know, it's sort of like how I look at, you know, stitching projects. I don't go for perfection because perfection, that's like utopia and utopia literally means no place. I strive for excellence. So I would say, you know, be aware, you know, don't be, don't be anxiety ridden, but be aware, be aware of what's going on and empower yourself to take care of yourself so that we can, we can do this together. All right. So listen, until next time, I want all of you to keep your chins up, keep stitching, keep caffeinated, keep smiling and stay safe. I love you guys. I will see you in my next video. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.